Howdy. My name is Aaron Boster. Thanks for tuning in to an impromptu educational opportunity here at Ohio Health MS Center. Today I want to speak about pain in multiple sclerosis. When I attended medical school, uh, they taught me that MS doesn't cause pain, and they taught me wrong. There's a lot of different kinds of pain in MS, and sometimes it can trick the patient or even the doctor into thinking it's a different problem. So we'll talk about a couple different kinds of pain today. The first one is optic neuritis. Now optic neuritis is where the nerve that runs the eyeball, it becomes inflamed. And when it becomes inflamed, you lose vision. But a very common symptom associated with optic neuritis is that the eye hurts when you turn your eye, looking left, right, and up, and down. And so a patient will commonly come in and say, I'm having decreased vision and it hurts, my eye hurts. Sometimes they haven't even noticed the visual loss, but they notice that their eye hurts when they move their eye around. And so that's a form of pain which is a bit unique to multiple sclerosis. The second kind of pain that I want to talk about is called trigeminal neuralgia. Now, the trigeminal nerve is the nerve that runs the sensation of your face. And if that nerve becomes inflamed, you can have a sharp stabbing pain in your face, which has been described as some of the most severe pain that a human being can experience. In multiple sclerosis, if you have damage to the brainstem, where the nerve comes out of, you can also have trigeminal neuralgia. And this is a lancinating pain. Oftentimes people think there's something wrong with their teeth, or there's something wrong with their jaw, and they see an oral surgeon, only to find out that it's actually related to multiple sclerosis. The next kind of pain that I want to discuss is the MS hug. Now, this is not a nice kind of hug that you get from your mom. Uh, this is a description of being crushed or being squeezed. Uh, some people say it feels like I have a belt wrapped around me or I have on really tight undergarments. Sometimes people, they feel like they can't get a deep breath or they think that they have chest pain. Uh, very commonly, the first time someone has an MS hug, they're getting EKGs and they're getting tests to look for pulmonary embolisms. And at the end of the day, what this is, is a lesion in the spinal cord, which is sending a message of pain in a band around their waist. This is a very uh, an aggravating kind of pain. Uh, and it's commonly seen in multiple sclerosis in the setting of spinal cord damage. Another type of pain which I want to discuss also involves the spinal cord. Lermites. Now, Lermite is the name of a, of a dead uh, white European man. Um, but Lermite's phenomenon is something that's been described in the medical literature for quite some time and seen very commonly in MS. A patient will flex their neck, and upon flexing their neck, they have a zip of electricity that runs down their back into their toes. What's happening is they have a spinal cord lesion, and when they flex their neck, they're stretching, the, they're stretching out the spinal cord, and it's sending what's called an ephaptic, a quick zip down their legs, and it can be very, very painful. And sometimes patients, to avoid it, will simply not move their neck, understandably so. Burning limb pain. If that's not a very specific kind of pain, but I see it all the time. Damage to anywhere along the sensory pathways can result in weird, abnormal, ouchy feelings. Sometimes patients will say that they feel like their leg's on fire, sometimes it feels icy cold, sometimes it just feels rough, and a lot of times patients have difficulty describing it, except for to say, my leg doesn't feel right, it really hurts. And this is a very, very common thing to see in multiple sclerosis. Two more kinds of pain that I want to discuss. Spasticity. Spasticity is a situation where the muscles are no longer cooperating. What I mean is, when I want to do this, the bicep has to get shorter and the tricep has to relax. In the setting of spasticity, because of damage to the brain and spinal cord, when you want to bring your arm like this, the spinal cord isn't letting go, and so your tricep is trying to do that and the result is a tug of war. Now, if you're wondering why I say this hurts, I want you to do an experiment at home. Take your hand and ball it up in a fist and hold the fist for the next five hours and see how it feels. Even just doing that for a few seconds, it, it starts to be ouchy and hurt. And if you need to move the limb, it can be very, very painful. Spasticity causes cramps, like a charley horse, which is extremely painful. And so I feel that spasticity is a type of pain that we need to consider when we're looking at MS. 
Lastly, I want to talk about musculoskeletal problems. And this is a secondary kind of pain seen in MS. If you have a hitch in your giddy up, and so you have to use your, your legs differently, think about what's happening to this hip or to that knee. And over time, you can wear on the joints from walking incorrectly and cause musculoskeletal pain. Again, my name is Aaron Boster. Thank you for tuning in to this impromptu educational experience. A long time ago in med school, they taught me that MS didn't cause pain, and they were wrong.